हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ मितेश सावलिया फ्रॉम प्रवीण पटेल पॉलिटेक्निक लेक्चर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू यूनिट दैट इज यूनिट नंबर टू डी सी सर्किट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव लर्न अबाउट यूनिट नंबर वन that was basic electrical parameters now from this video we are going to start unit number 2 that is dc circuit in the unit number 1 we have seen there are two types of current available one is ac current whereas other is dc current so how circuit behaves when it is applied with the dc current and how circuit behaves when it is supplied with the ac current so in this unit we are going to learn about the behavior of circuit under the dc supply so we will start with the first point of the unit number 2 that is ohm's law now this is a very basic law for the electrical engineering so what ohm's law states ohm's law states that the voltage across a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it provided that all physical conditions and temperature remains the same that means the voltage which is applied across any conductor will always be directly proportional with the current that means if voltage is increased then current will also increase and if voltage is decreased then current will also decrease so this is the basic condition and to fulfill this condition we have one factor to keep in mind that all the physical condition as well as temperature of the conductor should remain same in the previous unit we have learned that as the temperature of the conductor increases for some material resistance also increase and for some material resistance decreases so that factor we have to keep in mind that the temperature of the conductor should remain constant and the formula for ohm's law is given as v is equal to i into r r is a proportionality constant which is called as a resistance of the material so here v is equal to i into r v is a applied voltage i is a current flowing in a circuit and r is a resistance of the material so this is all about ohm's law now moving ahead to the next topic of the unit number 2 is internal resistance of the source internal resistance refer to the opposition of the flow of current offered by the cells and the batteries themselves resulting in the generation of heat that means the source itself offers a resistance to the flow of current and this opposition is resulted in the form of heat so the internal resistance refers to the opposition to the flow of current offered by the cells and battery themselves resulting in the generation of heat internal resistance is also measured in ohms as a normal resistance measured the relationship between internal resistance small r and emf e of the cell is given by e is equal to i into small r plus capital r 
कैपिटल आर इज द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द मटीरियल और द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द वायर वेर एज स्मॉल आर इज द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द सोर्स द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द सप्लाइंग सोर्स इट सेल्फ इज डिनोटेड बाय स्मॉल आर सो ई इज इक्वल टू आई इन ब्रैकेट स्मॉल आर प्लस कैपिटल आर वेर ई इज द ई एम एफ दैट इज इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स आई इज अ करेंट विच इज मेजर्ड इन एम्पियर कैपिटल आर इज अ लोड रेजिस्टेंस एंड स्मॉल आर इज द इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द सेल विच इज मेजर्ड इन ओम्स सो ईच एंड एवरी सोर्स हैव देयर ओन इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस विच वी हैव टू कंसिडर्ड वाइल कैलकुलेटिंग द वैल्यूज एंड दैट इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय स्मॉल आर नाउ From the circuit diagram, you can see a voltage source is applied from the left side. Small R is the internal resistance of that EMF source, and capital R is the resistance of the load through which current is flowing. So, in this way, a resistance, internal resistance. is connected in series with the emf as it is a internal resistance of the source so from the circuit diagram we have a clear idea about the internal resistance of source next is voltage drop in the internal resistance the voltage drop is the decrease of electrical potential along the path of current flowing in the electrical circuit now what is the voltage drop we will take one example with that example we will get the idea of this concept we have two bottles out of which one is filled with the water and other is totally empty now while transferring water from first ball bottle into the another bottle some water will get lost during the transferring now again while transferring the water from second bottle back into the first bottle again some water will get drop so that dropped water is the example of voltage drop when 10 volts apply is applied 10 volts is applied at the input side but while we connect the load while current starts flowing some voltage get drop across the resistance so in the output side we will get less amount of voltage so this concept is explained here a voltage drop is the decrease of electrical potential as we have seen in the previous unit that the definition of potential difference it is the difference between the two points so that potential is decreased along the path of the current flowing in a electrical circuit voltage drop in the internal resistance of source across the conductors across the contacts across the contact connectors are undesirable because some of the energy supplied is dissipated so here these are the places where major voltage drops are taking place are mentioned so where the voltage drops are taking place voltage drop is taking place in the internal resistance of source it also occurs across the conductors it also occurs across the contacts and also across connectors they are not required for us but each and everything is made up of some kind of material and each and every material have their own resistance they have their own capacity to oppose the current so because of this capacity or this resistance some amount of potential gets 
brought across the places so because of this drop the potential gets decrease so this term is called as a voltage drop so this was all about the internal resistance of source and voltage drop because of that source if you have any doubt you can call me or else you can message me thank you